Hello students, this video will demonstrate how to add a background and quote using Google Draw. We have been using Klecky for the illustration part of this to you know, get the nice outline and get the colors and shading inside, but the text features and the layout features of Klecky are not as good as Google Draw, so I do want to demonstrate how that you can take your photo from Klecky and get it into Google Draw and create a nice layout. It is helpful as you think about this to know whether you want to do a nice long quote or whether you want to do just more of like her name and maybe just a little caption about who the person is. Uh, that is just something to keep in mind as you work. So with that, let's get into the Klecky and talk a little bit about how to get it into Google Draw. So attached to your Google Classroom assignment, you will have a Google Drawing document everybody has their own so you can just open this directly from here and it will give you a step-by-step -step guide to paraphrase it says first delete this text second add a picture third add either the quote or the title and then any sort of background shapes that you want to do to emphasize your character then last but not least think about changing the color to match your character so or your woman so i have this i have one already started so the first thing i'm going to do click my text box and delete in clecky i'm going to switch back to clecky i have my picture and there was a background layer on it i'm going to turn that off so that it is a transparent background I know it's transparent because it has little checkers. Next, I'm going to save my image as we've been saving it as PSD. We're going to save it as a PNG. This will take all of your layers, smush them down into one, and preserve that transparent background. Next, I'm going to switch back to my inspir inspiring woman, not in spring. Uh, I'm going to insert my picture. So insert image upload from computer and here is the picture that i just downloaded and hit open so now wherever i move her uh, i can kind of resize but she will always be transparent in the background next i want to think about what is a good background color that matches my character so i can to do that i can either right click on the background or i believe you go to um, file i think it's easier to right click it's if you can't right click because you don't have a mouse you just alt click and it will give you the drop down menu to change the background think about whether you want to do a dark background with a light text over it or the opposite by doing a light background with a dark text on it so for this i'm going to demonstrate by doing kind of like a dark background and put a light text over it um, I may once I put her on here think that I maybe I want to lighten this a little bit to do that you can go to format options and go to adjustments and then if I move my face out of the way you can turn the brightness up or brightness up a little bit to kind of make her stand out a little more uh, contrasts will work um, you could, if you wanted to go to recolor, but it's only going to be like solid color shifts. I would steer clear of recolor. Other things you can do in this format options tab, you could add a little shadow underneath her. And now I'm going to move this, my selfie out of here. If I just give you a little show of how that works, angle and distance, it creates a little shadow so that it looks like she's popping up. It's a nice little feature and I can have it go to the left, to the right, to the side, to the back. I'm going to just have it go to the left here. There we go. Next, I'm going to think about my quote that goes here. So I do have a quote, our unity is our strength and diversity is our power. So I will put that on this here by just pressing text box. And then just clicking somewhere i will have to honestly i think it's better to draw a text box where you want it and then type it our 
unity is our strength and diversity is our power. Put a little air quotes there. And I'll also put Kamala Harris so that everybody knows who this is. But this is not really doing anything for me text-wise. Um, so first I'm going to select everything and kind of make it bigger. 60 might be a little too big. Um, next I'm going to think about what is the font that I want to go with this idea. There are a lot here predetermined. If you don't like any of the ones in here, you can also click more. And if you were looking specifically for a calligraphy font, you would click instead of show here, you could just type handwriting, click sh change it from, you know, mono, serif, sans serif, or handwriting. Display is going to give you some of these more funky ones. I like these handwriting ones. Um, kind of like Sacramento. So I'm going to hit OK. It's a thin font. But I do want to think about maybe emphasizing strength and emphasizing power like that original. So at this point, I'm going to make the quote a little bigger. I can do that. Hit enter here so that her name. And then I might go to this tool, three dots, and then add line spacing, add a space here so that her name goes down a little bit. But I want to emphasize power and strength. So to do that, what I might do is just playing with how it looks. I might put kind of like, first let's change this completely to a different color. White or, yeah, that looks nice. But I might add like a border around here. So that might be in highlighting. So this is the text tool. This is the highlight color. So if I wanted to highlight strength in like um, like a dark color, hmm. let's kind of highlight it maybe a dark red. And power in dark red. I don't want to make, I don't want to add too many crazy colors. I might also like make power bigger and 64 and Nah, I think the one thing I wish I could do. Nope, it's not a real good way to get this layout so that it looks nice. Um, I might play with whether it's on the side. So I'll go to a line. Let's see, looks any better centered. Hmm, I like it centered. So at this point, I feel like I'm pretty done. Um, things you can do to emphasize the face. What if you drew, you know, a rectangle around this whole thing to create maybe like a little, I'm going to turn this to transparent fill and then give it a little bit of a border. So here's what it would look like with a black border. Maybe I make it a little gold to, to bring her out a little bit more. I can also, if I right, if I click on the board on the square and I right click and change the order, I can send it to the back. And now it looks like it kind of disappears behind her. That's a nice little effect. Other things you can do if you play with these shapes and call outs, there's a bunch of different, you know, bubbles, air bubbles. You could even add a banner, you know, for her name, if I kind of played with that, double click, Kamala Harris, and then I'll make this the same font. Uh, Sacramento and center it. And then I'll even, that way because I have that banner there, I don't really need this banner there um but i don't really think that blue is working out well for my design so i'll change it to maybe like a different shade of red 
or a different shade of orange. To match. Just to try and just trying to match things so that I use like a limited but conscious choice of colors. Um, this is looking pretty good. I might make this lettering a little bigger. But then once you're finished, uh, you've added a quote, you've added a picture, you have you've added your person's name. Uh, just hit turn in. You can also download this as a JPEG, so you can go to download JPEG. Share it with your friends, post it on Instagram, whatever you want to do. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, I hope everybody is safe and well and have a great spring break.